Hi everyone, my name is Sean Walker. I'm a Principal Product Success Architect here at ServiceNow. Today I'm going to be talking to you about one of the advanced inventory features, Service Locations. Service Locations allow you to manage sourcing requests that consume from local stock by associating your stock rooms with multiple service locations. Configuring your stock rooms to service other locations can help with the fulfillment step of the request process and any other process that requires there to be inventory in a local stock room. A good example would be if you have multiple office locations in one city, but don't have stock rooms in each of those offices. Instead, you have a stock room at the main office that you use to store equipment for all the other offices in that city. You can now set up the main office to service all of the other offices in that city. Once that's done, any requests or processes that look for inventory in a local stock room will show the inventory from the main stock room. Let me jump into an instance and demonstrate this in action. Okay, so now I'm logged into a Vancouver instance with Hardware Asset Management Professional installed and I'm gonna walk through two ways service locations can help you out with your processes. I'm gonna demonstrate what happens with service locations and a loaner flow, as well as what happens with the request process. So I'm logged in right now uh, as a Hamilton user. So this is just a generic user located in the Hamilton office. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to the service catalog and we are going to request a laptop and this this user wants to request the Asus G series laptop. So I'm going to click on order now and it's going to create a request for that laptop. Um, I'm going to jump in as an administrator in a minute and show you what happened on that request but for now I'm going to go back to the service catalog and I'm going to go and also I'm going to submit a loaner request. So this, has, this user wants to borrow uh, an, uh, a laptop for a little while. So it's automatically going to populate the user's location. And as you can see, there's no models available at this location in Hamilton. So I'm going to stop my impersonation now because obviously I can't submit a loaner request if there is no loaners in that location. And we are going to check things out. Um, first, we'll go check out the purchase request that came in for that user. So I'm going to navigate to the hardware asset workspace, going to go to asset operations and requests. And I can see the new request for the Hamilton user. And I'm going to go in here, which this item was automatically approved, just the way I have my instance configured. And I'm going to go through the source request. So once we fire up the source request, we're going to have the option to either fulfill from a purchase order or maybe tr create a transfer order or consume from local stock. So you see there is no local stock. So if you remember from the introduction, if I set up um, a service location, so another stock room to service this location, I should then start seeing local stock. So what I'm going to do I'm just going to cancel out of that request and not, not finish the sourcing piece. I'm going to go to my stock room and I'm going to go to my Canada East stock room. So this, off, this stock room is located in Toronto, Ontario and we're going to say that we want this particular stock room to service the Hamilton location. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click add and I'm going to add a service location here for Hamilton. And I could see the Hamilton location and I'm going to hit add. So now what this means is that this Canada East stock room will service the Hamilton location. And as you can see, this stock room does have some of those ACES in stock. So now let's see what happens if I come back to the request for the Hamilton user, come back into my source request, and now you can see I have five in local stock that I can consume. 
So that's how you would set up a service location to help with the request process and make it easier for people fulfilling um, the, these orders um, to really grab the stock from the stock room that you want it to be coming from. Now what I'm going to do is just quickly jump back over um, as the Hamilton user and I'm going to try out that loaner request again. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go back to the service catalog. I'm going to go for my loaner request. And now I can see my location is still Hamilton, but notice I'm not getting the error anymore. And so now when I click on the little hang up on my, I can see there are two different models available at this location that I can request as a loaner. So I can pick the ACES, I can pick my start date and my end date. And I need a loaner until my new laptop arrives. And hit submit. Now my loaner request has been submitted. And again, it will get fulfilled from that Canada East stock room because um, that's where all the people are that are fulfilling the requests, etc.